Welcome back guys, today we'll be guiding you on how to assemble the true Storp coffee table from Ikea. Make sure you have all the parts before you start the build and the proper tools to finish the job. You're going to need a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver or a drill bit. Start off by grabbing 8 wooden dowels and this big panel as shown. Insert all 8 dowels in the corresponding holes. Then grab 2 screws and this wood panel. This panel is the one without the holes in the middle of it. Twist the two screws into the corresponding holes. Now grab these two panels and put them together. You're going to need to get two fasteners and twist them into these two holes that are located on the big panel. Now grab the other similar panel, but this one has the holes located in the middle. Grab two dowels and insert them into these two holes. Then grab the two screws and twist them in into these two holes. Grab the panel you just worked on and place it in as shown. Then grab two fasteners to secure the assembly. Now grab this small piece of wood and the two wooden dowels. Insert them into these two holes as shown. Now insert this piece of wood like this. Grab this allen key and the screw. Fasten the screw in to secure the small piece of wood you inserted in the step before. Next, take the four screws and twist them into these four holes. Then grab one scratch card and insert it to the bottom of the leg. Repeat this step another three times. Now grab this panel that has eight small holes on the right side and fasten one screw as shown. Then grab two of the legs and insert them in each side of the panel. Grab four fasteners and twist them into these four holes. After you put the legs and the base together, grab five fasteners and twist them into the five corresponding holes. Next, grab the piece of wood that has 12 holes on its left side and tighten one screw into the hole as shown. Grab the other two legs and insert them on each side of the panel. Use four fasteners to secure them in place. Place the legs into the base on the other side and use the five fasteners to secure the bottom half of the True Storp coffee table. Next, take six of the screws and twist them into the six corresponding holes that are located on the top panel. Then place this top panel onto the base of the coffee table. Find the last six fasteners and secure them into the six fastener holes. Now grab the hinge system that has the 12 holes on the bottom and use the 12 screws to secure the hinge to the base of the True Storp coffee table. You may want to use a posi drive bit for this job instead of a Phillips head. This will reduce the chances of warping the head of the screw. Then grab the other hinge system and secure it to the base of the coffee table using the 8 screws. Grab 5 screws for each side and fasten the top panel to the top of the hinge system. Grab these two screws and place a helical washer on each of them. Then use the allen key to secure the metal bar to each side of the hinge systems. You're going to be using a total of four screws for this step. Finally, take the hydraulic piston and insert it onto the hinge. Then grab two screws and place a washer on each. 
Fasten the hydraulic piston by using the two screws. Now, you should have a working Truel Storp coffee table. Hit the like button if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more assembly videos.